Hi everybody, welcome to the English classroom. So in this video, we are going to start our fourth unit, live and let live. As we all know, human beings live in this world, not only human beings actually, there are so many organisms living in this world, right? And we are not the only rightful person to live here. Thousands across, millions of living organisms are there in this world and we people have to live at the same time, we have to let others live too. Okay, so that's why the highest education is that which does not merely give us information but makes our life in harmony with all existence, a beautiful quote by Rabindranath Tagore. He says, the highest level of education is not just accumulating information from somewhere, it is it, 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 that, the one that teaches you how to live in harmony with others. Okay, it is not just living in your own way, but you have to be in peace with other living organisms without harming others, right? Uh, the environment, the other animals, insects, birds, or anything else, without harming them, without creating uh, much disturbance to others, you have to live with them. That's what the highest level of education has for Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, then uh, the introduction to the unit, you can see the dissemination of knowledge in the present days, they has provided us a fund of information about health and hygiene. So in, nowadays we get a lot of information about our health and hygiene. We know for certain the good health is not merely the absence of disease, but the readiness to live with healthy mental attitude and to let others live. So the correct, uh, the said, the good health doesn't mean you, you do not have any uh, disease or you are not ill, but the good health means you have a good mental stability and you live in peace with others and the readiness to live with healthy mental attitude and to let others live. You are not just living by yourself, you let others to live too. But this is the time to think aloud. We have to think aloud, deep. What are we actually doing to protect the world around us? Do we do something to protect the world around us? And to maintain healthy lifestyles? Do we take measures? Do we have any plan? to make our life a better way any individual attempt any individual attempt at creating imbalance within our body or the world around us will lead to a total destruction so any person tries to make an imbalance in the society or in the world that will lead to a great destruction a big destruction right so as a human being we have to live in peace with our surroundings that's the greatest of knowledge we have to learn Okay, the unit, the, the fourth unit raises the question, what do we do to preserve the indigenous and the natural? So we enjoy a lot of things here in this world, right? Natural things and the things that we see here around us. Do we do something to preserve them for the next generation, for the coming generation? Do we do something? The unit includes a speech when a sapling is planted by Wankari Mathai, a Kenyan um, activist made this speech and we are going to learn this speech here and a poem rise by Chamanam Chako, a Malayalam poet and his poem was translated into English and the uh, poem is rise it is a satirical poem we will come to learn it and an essay dangers of drug abuse by Hardin B. James uh, Jones Hardin B. Jones uh, it is an essay on how um, drugs influence human behavior and social and individual life so all these things we will be learning in detail anyway this is just an introduction to the unit live and let live we will go deep into the chapters now thank you